One thing that I believe that evolutionary psychology gets wrong, or at least fails to sufficiently appreciate, is that we don't have to have recourse to phenomena that no longer exist to explain a lot of mating and dating behavior. Most mating preferences are rooted in a very primitive idea of survival, which, while not entirely untrue, in my opinion, kind of misses the mark. Because there is something that still exists today that has existed throughout human history and that in many respects continues to impact survival in a much more pervasive, albeit indirect way. And what is that thing? In a word, status. Status exists today much the same way that it has existed in tribal clans hundreds of thousands of years ago. And status, in my opinion, explains much more about mating and dating behavior than do saber-toothed tigers and savannas.